everybody, my name is Kevin Ryan, and welcome back to more Faria. Now, last time I took my mid-range uh, green forest deck into what I thought was ranked mode, <coughs> but it turned out to be a couple of, of games of casual mode. But since I am at such a low rank to begin with, I, do, I don't suspect we'll encounter much more difficult opponents, but we are going to do things correctly this time, and I will play in ranked mode uh, with the same deck. And we will see how fa how well uh, we fare. Now, what I didn't do in the last video, uh, which I, I did provide into the description where you could actually uh, find the deck that I was using, but I will show you it here. Uh, this is your budget mid-range green deck. Now, any new player can uh, feasibly make this deck at little to no cost uh, to themselves. And it apparently performs fairly well, at least in the early ranks. Uh, and I will be able, uh, I will be testing that over the course of these videos as we move on, and I will, of course, experiment with other decks. But for right now, this is mid-range green. We have three feed the forests, destroy a friendly creature to gain fairy equal to its life, and draw a card. Very useful uh, event card, or what spells uh, are, are called in Faria. They're called events. Uh, we have three bone collectors here. The uh, final game in the last video really saw the bone collector shine. Uh, he got super powerful and smacked our opponent to death with 14 hit points, uh, or 14 attack points, excuse me. Very good card. Uh, Tiki Piper, uh, normally a card that you're going to primarily be using to collect Farrier with because it is just a 1-1. One, one. However, its gift ability is give a creature plus 0, plus 4. Uh, once again, uh, mid uh, green forest deck have quite a lot of sustain. Uh, and this card is one of the reasons as to why. Elderwood Embrace, another reason as to why. An event card. We have three of these in the deck. Give a creature plus two, plus four. Very nice. Tiki Carrot Taker, serving also with the Tiki Piper uh, as a primarily a collector once you have used its gift, which is give a creature plus two, plus two. Three Wood Elementals. This is what you want to find in the early game. This is what you want to mulligan for as a Wood Elemental. Because you can start off strong because you can create a forest and it has taunt. Uh, and in the early game, it can serve as a collector of Farius. So we have three of those in the game. Uh, you want a wood elemental and a bone collector uh, in your opening hand. That's, that is ideal uh, in the opening hand, particularly because either one of them cost only one forest tile to play, which is very nice. Sagami Grove Caller, which we did not really see much of in the last video at all, actually. Uh, has a very useful gift ability. Teleport another friendly creature to a forest you control. Uh, provides a lot of mobility to the forest uh, to forest decks where there otherwise might not be any. Uh, so Sagami Grove Caller is a very useful card, uh, which can potentially see one of your most powerful creatures instantly teleported to the, your opponent's side of the board. So it's a very handy card for that. Oakling, last words, a random creature in your hand gains plus five, plus five. Not only is the Oakling itself uh, possess quite a bit of sustain with five health to begin with, but it can also give one of the creatures in your hand plus five, plus five, which is incredibly powerful, particularly if you have one of these next two cards in your hand, that being Therian Golem and Verdurin Force, which we have three of a kind uh, for both of them. We're very nice. And we have Oakfather, gain plus one health for each forest you control. Mid to late game, Oakfather is an absolute beast, and he begins as a 6-6, six, six, costing only two forest tiles and seven mana to play. So very, very good card. So that's the deck, and we will take that now into proper ranked mode, not casual. <laughs> um, I'm going to play ranked now, mid-range green, and let's play. Let's find our first opponent. Okay, we have found our first opponent, and the lucky individual is... Big reveal, big reveal, big reveal. D uh, Devo Bij. <laughs> I would love to know the origin of some of the usernames out there in the internet sphere. Play second, fantastic. Bone Collector in the opening hand, which is fantastic. Uh, we're going to mulligan the Oakling and the Oak Father. Don't quite need them just yet. Uh, Oak Father, once again, you know, that see, that happened a lot lately when you mulligan a particular card just to have it reappear in your hand. Obviously, it's something that can happen, but there's been some reports on it on... Uh, happening quite a bit within Faria. Not sure if it's a bug or not, or just, you know, everyone collectively having bad luck, but who knows? Who knows? So, let's see what kind of a deck my opponent is going to be playing. Starting off with two planes, so can't quite tell exactly what sort of deck he's playing just yet. Uh, but we are going to kick things off with our Explore card, the equivalent of Hearthstone's coin. We're going to stick a plane right there, and then we will kick it off with a Forest 
which we'll put right there. We're going to play this exactly the same way as we saw in the last video. And we will begin by playing the Bone Collector right here as our opening. And we will pass the next turn. Now, if we wanted to... Uh, well, no, not quite. We can't play the Golem just yet. Now, we do have the Oakling, um, which I suppose isn't too terrible to have in the, op in the, in the beginning of the game. Uh, I suppose in the meantime... Okay, so blue deck. So, mage of some sort. Dark Stalker. Okay. If you play an event this turn, costs two less. Alright, so... Pretty standard 3-2. Alright. Uh, Alright, we're going to put down another forest. And we'll just keep going, I think, the way we have been. And we will play... Uh... Oh, Oak Father. Excuse me, I thought it was the Oakling. That is my mistake. Well, he's only going to become a 6-8 if I play him now. So there's no real reason to. So I think we're going to move the Bone Collector up. Uh, we'll save Elderwood Embrace. And we'll pass the turn. Now we'll see if he tries to cut me off in any sort of way. Or if he just continues on his right side of the board. Okay, so he is going to move. Okay, okay. Mm, not quite getting the best draws <laughs> ever here. Uh, but we will put a force tile right here, I think. And 6-9 is not bad, actually. Uh, so why don't we play the Oak Father now? Get him on the board. I don't really see a reason not to. Get some threats out there. And... Pass the turn. What you up to? Humbling vision. Have a creature's base attack in life. Yeah. When you play blue, uh, you got to expect shenanigans like that. But a 3-5 is still fairly powerful. Okay, 4-4 four, four, jump now. Give a creature protection. Yeah, blue is fairly annoying. <laughs> Another feed the forest. Ugh. I'm just, I'm not getting the kinds of draws that I want here at all. Uh, we'll stick another forest there. We'll harvest some Feria. Get that at least. Now, plus two, plus four. Hmm. Now, I don't want him killing the Bone Collector. So, we're going to move the Bone Collector back down here. Now, if I play Elderwood and Embrace on this guy, it's going to take two hits to kill my Oak Father with his Triton Warrior, no matter what. Now, the question is, does this individual have Frogify? And do I want to try to bait that out? We could, with Elderwood Embrace. Why don't we do that? Just knock out the shield here. And we'll see what happens. Oh, I forgot he had jump. That's right. Mm, that was... Yeah. There was no stopping that, apparently. Tyranax. Okay. Mm. What are you up to, Devo? Blue versus green is an interesting matchup, I do have to say. do have to say. Another Oak Father. Uh, pretty good. So we're going to stick another forest right here. Uh, what I will do is get rid of the frog. We have to get rid of the frog. Let's harvest this Feria. Get rid of the frog. This Oak Father is still alive, which is pretty nice. Um, why don't we play instead of the Oak Father, who would become a 611 at this point, why don't we play 
Eh, 5'10 versus 6'11. We'll stick him here. Right here. I really, I really want to apply pressure here. Uh, we'll hold on to feed the forest. Because I don't need the fairy yet right now. We'll see what happens. I'm try I, like I really want him to. I, I really want to see if he has Frogify. I'll be very surprised if he doesn't. I'm trying to bait that out. Falcon dive, typical. It's quite all right. Ruby fish. <laughs> now an aquatic creature can only move on lakes or along the sea. So the ruby fish is. Currently not inhibited at all, which is probably why, uh, you know, he hasn't filled in the middle in any kind of capacity. Uh, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a forest tile right here. We will stick our golem here. Grab this faria. Knock out Tyrannex. Very good. Uh, and then I suppose we'll pass the turn. I think what I'm going to do now is try to go up the middle. Oh, he gave his own warden pr protection. Interesting decision. Verduin Force. All right. Well, let's see here. Uh, hmm. Well, let's use our golem. We'll knock this guy out. Do that. Uh, we will create land up the middle now. Put some there, and we'll put some here. Um, hmm. Could place another golem or Verduin Force. I'm thinking the Force here. Come up here. We'll grab this Faria. Knock off that protection. We'll probably kill the Oak Father next turn. But that is quite alright. Trying to overwhelm him. Uh, let's see what's up. Protection again. Very annoying. <laughs> Incredibly annoying. That's... Is that two? That's two protections that he's actually used. So, I guess I can expect one more. <laughs> Annoyingly enough. Uh, hmm. Alright, well. Let's do this. Get rid of him. Uh, we will throw down another golem. Grab some Feria, so that I can also play the Tiki Caretaker. Buff our, our force. Grab this, knock out the fish. Oh, you know, I I didn't really need to get Feria from Harvest Feria from here, but that that's all right. Whatever, doesn't matter. We'll go there. The uh, I want to start moving my big dudes in now, uh, so the Tiki Caretaker can begin uh, to assume his role. As gatherer. Up oh, and there's the GG. <laughs> Just overwhelmed him. Very good. Very good. Blue. Blue is a bit of annoying. An annoying uh, matchup for green. <laughs> the mage cards. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let us search again. Okay, new opponent here. It was Snackerino. 
Again, where do these names come from? I have no idea. Okay, we're playing first. We have our Grove Caller, Oak Father, and the Caretaker. Uh, we'll hold on to the Caretaker, Mulligan, the Grove Caller, and the Oak Father. Hope for something a bit better. Oakling, Theory, and Golem. Ooh. Okay. Uh, not ideal. So we will begin with a forest here. Hello, greetings. And see what happens. Oh, I didn't. There we go. <laughs> Enter. Yes, yes, explore. Hmm. Another Oakling. Uh, God. All right, we will play the Oakling here, get a creature out. Going second in this game is fairly powerful when it comes to the creation of a land. Uh, it looks like I'm facing another blue deck. <sighs> we'll just continue on with the plan here. We'll play our Tiki Caretaker. Well, no, no, no. We'll move him up first. <laughs> we'll play our Tiki Caretaker here to him. Make him a 3-7. We'll end the turn there. We'll get to a point where hopefully the Tiki Caretaker can assume his role as Gatherer uh, uninhibited. Yeah, there's Frogify. <laughs> Blue is an incredibly annoying matchup. It really is an incredibly annoying matchup. Uh, but we baited one out. Baited one Frogify out. Safe to assume he's going to have at least two more. Uh, give a creature... Tiki Piper might be helpful here to keep the Caretaker alive. But is it worth it? Is the question. Uh, I think so. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to... No, you know, we'll just build another forest right here. And we will play the Tiki Piper... To the caretaker. Knock out this annoying fish. Goodbye. And there we go. Weak creatures on the board, but creatures nonetheless. There's that jump again. Spell whirl. Do, 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 do. Okay, ranged. Which means I need to put somebody in front of my orb. Hmm, okay. I don't want to feed the forest, damn it! <laughs> I, feed the forest... I don't know. The, mo the more I've been playing this, I, I've never really been Faria starved, you know? Um... But we're going to play a forest here. It's okay. I'll take the two from the ranged creature. It's not a big deal. Um, move up our caretaker. And we will play... We're going to play the golem now. So I'm going to try to bait out that other frogify. If he's got it. And we will end our turn. Yep, yep, saw that coming. That was fine. Hold the line. He's going to get a couple taunt creatures in his hand now. Yep, Imperial Guard. Now he's going to back off. Oakfather! What's up, buddy? Now, I have to attack this creature, which is annoying. 
Uh... Extremely annoying, actually. So why don't we... Play a plane here and here. Move our golem in range. Put him there. And we will play... Tough call, to be honest. Hmm. We'll play the Oak Father. Nah, well, you know, let's let's sack him. Whatever, doesn't I just whatever. Oak Father, right here. Six eleven again, trying to bait out another Frogify. Tell you what, playing against a mage in Feria is just as annoying as anything else. <sighs> I'm not I'm not playing very well at all, I do have to say. <laughs> that was an interesting move. Unless he's gonna play something there. The thing about this deck is that it doesn't have removal spells of any kind. Like, it doesn't have Falcon Dive or anything like that. And I basically just have to overwhelm him with power. <laughs> uh, so we're going to build a couple prairies here. Grab that Feria, kill this dude. Um, move our golem up. Stick another oakling right here. Actually, uh, we'll go with that. I, I don't know. I'm taking hits from that archer, uh, and his creatures are getting more powerful here. This, this is just a weird board. I have no creature in my hand, luckily for him. This has just been going absolutely shitty. I did not have a good start to the game at all. I didn't get anything that I wanted. And I'm sure I could be playing better than I currently am. <laughs> and here's where things just spiral out of control. Yeah, I need, like, I just, I need my taunt. Do I have a taunt? Anybody? No? Uh, all right, so we're going to play the Grove Caller. We're going to move the Oak Father right here. Take this guy out. Move our Golem in. Take this guy out. Again, this is why I really love. The Grove Caller. The Grove Caller is phenomenal. Um, and I think we'll play... Tiki Piper. Hmm. Right, we'll play Elderwood Embrace to you. And end the turn. So. Dealt with those threats. That Grove Caller was a pretty good draw. We'll see if he has another Frogify. I don't know. I'm sure he thought the game was won there. <laughs> Yeah, jump is annoying. <laughs> 
Spell whirl, add two spells. Yeah, blue is an annoying... <laughs> an annoying deck. <laughs> Alright, let's play a Tiki Caretaker to this dude. Get him up here, grab that Faria, knock this out. We're going to move our Oakling up, or Oak Father, excuse me, I keep calling him Oakling. <laughs> Uh, we will build a forest right here. So I can summon some nasty dudes. We will kill off this bad boy. We're going to move over here and then do it. Um, and then... I think we'll play... Nothing yet. We'll stop there. So we'll see. We'll see who can outlast the other one. I could really use like a, like a bone collector or just yep. There's the other frogify. Yep. That's two. So we can expect one more frogify. Got a plan for it. I need my heavy hitters. I need more of them. There he is. There's one. We're doing force. How you doing, buddy? Fantastic. All right. Um. Let's see here. I'm gonna put a forest here. Um. This has been a battle. <laughs> now we could play the Tiki Piper right now. Make sure this guy stays alive to kill him. And I think we will, actually. We'll play the Tiki Piper right there. To put pressure. What's up? Uh, and from there, we'll move this guy in. Right here. And we'll end that turn. Oh, man. Yep, he'll kill that. Saw that. That's aggravating. I want my taunt. Taunt, please. No, that's not taunt. Helpful, but not taunt. <laughs> okay, so we're going to play the Grove Caller here to transport this guy, once again, here to knock out this dude because I can't have him attacking me. We'll go in, attack here. Because, why not? <laughs> uh, and then we will feed the forest on our Grove Caller. Where we get Ethereum Golem, which we will play right here. Alright. <sighs> Amazing. Yes, yes, thank you. Is there a thank you? There needs to be a thank you. Why isn't there a thank you? Taunt creatures. God, blue is an annoying deck to play against. Ugh. Like, I, <laughs> I didn't get any of the... Like, this, this is the worst set of draws ever that I think you could possibly get for this budget deck. And this guy is just constantly throwing BS at me. Now he's probably going to win just because I just I haven't gotten what I needed. Ugh. Kill you, of course. Move you up first and then kill you. And then we will play. Uh, 
Give me a card. Give me something. Bone collector? <sighs> Fine. It's a card. Like, I'm just frustrated because I just... I haven't... I didn't get... I didn't get any of my wood elementals. That's the first bone collector I've seen. It's just... <sighs> hasn't been a good game. Has not been a good game. I'd be surprised if I come out of this with a win. Because he's just been throwing BS after BS after BS at me. Another spell whirl. Three of those. That's three of them down. There we go. He's just filling up his hand with more crazy, stupid shiz. <laughs> Another Triton Banquet. Give a creature plus one, plus one, and jump. There goes my bone collector. Goodbye. Hasn't been fun. I haven't been able to go on the offensive at all. Oh, there's Battletoads. Two frogs with jump. Another bone collector. That's nice. Five. I don't know. Draw a card. Hey, there's a wood elemental. Great. Thanks. Put a forest right there. Attack again. Uh, stop it there. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> First wood elemental of the game. Fantastic. Talk about being on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Well, I'll be able to deal with this threat. Another wood elemental. There you are. <laughs> Ugh. All right, let us we'll move him up, knock you out. Put another wood elemental. Wait. Probably the better creep thing is seven then I can do both so we'll do both play the wood elemental put a forest here elderwood embrace on you and we'll go from here and knock you out so uh, I'm holding him off, but barely. I I need to make I need to make a push. And if I can get my Verduin Force out there, it'll be that push. There's three. Another feed the forest. We'll just move you over here. Grab that. We'll move you here. We'll grab that. Puts us at five. Six means I can put the force out there and really start putting pressure on him. And we're going to do that. We're just going to gonna go hard on that. <laughs> And try to bait out the Frogify, I guess. Right? There's going to be another Frogify? That's a threat he's going to have to deal with. That's fine. Oh! Colossus! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I 
Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Close game here. Uh I need to get rid of this shield. Okay, see what happens. PS Frogify, it's game. Oh, I need a, I need a power up. I need a power up cart. Oh, taunt. Oh, there they are. Oh. That's that. Well played. Fuck you. Came close. I I did not have good card draw there at all. I without those wood elementals or bone collectors or anything like that in the beginning of the game, it's it's really hard to build momentum. I ugh, I hate blue. I hate playing a mage just as much in this game as I do in Hearthstone. Ugh. All right. Well, that was more Faria. With our mid-range budget green deck. Uh, try something different next time. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it is Kevin Ryan at Broke Glasses. That is Kevin Ryan at Broke Glasses over on Twitter. Twitter, excuse me. Alternatively, you can follow me on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Broken Glasses Gaming. Uh, if you want more Faria as well as uh, new info and all the latest and greatest indie games currently in development, you can subscribe right here to Broken Glasses Gaming. Uh, my name is Kevin Ryan, and thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.